This is ABC customer updates their own records, the updated version, and it uses two pipelines to make this possible. But let's talk about the application. The purpose of this application is to show how you can send to unlicensed people information. Now these are customers of yours, for instance, or vendors that you need to get an update of their information. Maybe it's their contact information. Uh, maybe it's a vendor profile that you're asking them to fill out. So you need a way to email them and then collect their feedback. And that's exactly what we've got here. We've got all these customer records here. And down below here, we've got uh, a bunch of contacts. And you can see Kirk Tracy at QuickBase. I'm going to press this uh, link right here. Click. And what it's going to do is send off an email to my um, Outlook email. Let's send one to this one too. Click. Um, and if we look back down, you'll notice there's a checkbox here and the date and time has been stamped here. This one has disappeared. If I refresh the page, you'll see that they're, they're both unchecked now because we have a pipeline that's running in the background that resets these checkboxes. So, and this is strictly a courtesy here. In the background, what I've got is um, an email that I've just gotten right here. And let's open it up. And it says, Kirk Tracy, your contact information has it changed. Please use the button to update it. Now, this is what we know about uh, the information that we have on deck for you. We've got the CEO, Kirk's the CEO, and it's 4,000 is the entry. We're going to change those two things here. We're going to click on this. Now, we, we haven't logged in. Uh, we're going to be the vice president of sales now. And uh, let's say 6,500 East something uh, Palisades here. We'll be in New Jersey. And we'll change this to 212-555-1212. And we'll come down and say submit. All right. In the background, what's, that's, what's happening is QuickBase is receiving that information. And we're going to update it with a pipeline um, and update the original record. Let's take a look at those records here. Here's the uh, one right here, New Jersey, and 212-555-1212. Let's view this. And now we'll start to take this step-by-step -step here in just a second. But here's that customer's contact data. And notice the date here. This is the time that I'm doing this, 7.15 at night. Um, and this is the email address that it was sent to. And this is the button. And this is the update down below. Now, when you're using everyone on the internet to make this happen, you never want people to be able to see records and you never want them to be able to edit records. But you can allow them to add records very safely and securely. And that's the, that's the foundation of this. All the updates are going to, going to be because we're allowing them to add records here and we're going to use pipelines to bring that information back over to the customer record and update it. So let's go down and take this step by step. The first thing we did was um, put a button here. When we press this button, it's going to check this checkbox. Click. And in doing that, that's the original trigger that tells the pipeline to initiate the first step. And what is that first step going to do? The first step is going to uncheck this checkbox and it's also going to update when the last email um, was sent. So let me refresh the button here. And you can see 717 is now the date and this is unchecked. So it's setting it up so we can continue to do this. Um, and But the real, and, and this will reset as soon as I refresh, uh, it'll have time to have done it. There we go. The reason we're allowing the button to uncheck this is just for convenience. You very well could be looking at wanting to do grid edit, and you've never been able to do this before. Um, but however you want to do it, maybe you want to use search and replace. Let's say you want all of these people to be updated. Um, you could go into grid edit now, check this checkbox, right click, fill down, all of them are checked, save that, and it's going to fire it off to everybody. Now, you can see some of the information here. I'm going to uh, refresh the, the page here, and you can see all of them have been reset, but we also have a record of when the emails have gone out. 
So let's, uh, now the next step in the process is going to be when I receive the email, I want to update that information and update this here. Um, but before I get ahead of myself, let's go down to the uh, record right here and take a look at the buttons that we've created to make this happen. This very first one here is to um, check this checkbox and it's a very, you'll find this in magic buttons. It's one of the options in magic buttons. It says, I want to edit the record that I'm on with the ability of this app token to give it authority. I want to update the checkbox, which is uh, field ID 45 with the check. And I want to go to field 31 and put today's date and time in there. And then I want to re come back to where I come from. And that, that, that's a really wonderful thing because it allows you to either start from a, a report, you'll come back to a report. Start from a form and you'll come back to a form. So th this once again is in um, the Magic Buttons app that you can find in the App Exchange. Let's go take a look at the other button because this is the button that we're sending to the um, customer. Now, there's a lot of information inside this button. Right click and edit this. We want to send this into the button so that it makes it easy for the customer or vendor not to have to fill out this form all over again from the beginning. So what we're doing is preloading the form. When they press this button, it's going to take the company information, put it into field six. It's going to take the contact information in seven, title into eight. And we're going into the update table. Notice we're going to be adding a record into the, uh, sorry about that, into the update table. And we're going to pass this information. Now, if you want to make changes to it before you save it, that's the, that's what we're really, uh, that's the whole foundation of what we want to do here. And, but it makes it easy for them to do that. And we're also putting it partway across the page. So it's kind of like in the middle of the page. Uh, it's 500 pixels from the left border. And um, the button, by the way, uh, and this is an important thing to talk about, is the button has its own CSS up here. You can see the background color, the radius, the uh, size the, of the text, all that kind of stuff is, is here. So that the email that we actually are going to be playing with has something that displays beautifully. If you use QuickBait and you can see all the data that's already in that button, that it knows who you're sending it to, so that when you press it, it fills that form out like that. Okay, that's uh, one of the buttons. Let's get back to the application here and look um, if there's another button that we're talking about. This one updates the checkbox. This one is going to fill out the form for us. All we have to do is email that out. So we have got an email that goes out uh, whenever that checkbox, uh, um, excuse me, the email notification um, goes out whenever the um, date gets updated. So the pipeline is gonna update the date as well. So that will send, send that information out. Um, if, why don't we open this up just to take a peek at it. And I, on purpose, wanted to put tables in here so that it would look pretty. But uh, you can use the standard email notifications if you'd like to and just add that button. And, and let's see, there's the button right there. That's that blue button um, where you'll find it over here. Update. Customer up, uh, update data, where are you? There's the button right there. Okay, let's take a look at the um, pipelines that make this happen. And I'm going to refresh them here so we can take a look at each one of them. And there's two of them. Let's start at step one for the triggering event. There is a record updated. This is the original customer record being updated. Whenever that customer update, uh, excuse me, this is the account, Whenever this table gets updated, I want to trigger on that update checkbox. So this wakes up when the checkbox is checked and it's going to play with two fields, that checkbox, which we're going to reset 
and the last email sent, which we're going to fill in with the current date and time. Um, and we only want this to go when the checkbox is in the yes condition. Uh, so let's move down further and say, what are we going to do with that? We're going to update the record that's linked in A above. And there's two fields here, the last email sent and the update. And notice the A in this one. We're going over to A and finding the A updated at. Now I use the last uh, update date right here. I drag that over here so that writes into that field. And that's what's going to trigger that email notification to fire off. Now over here we've got an update and I'm putting the I'm unchecking it. I could have had a yes for checked or no for that. So all right, so this is step one. Now let's go over to step two, which is going to be listening for when the customer actually hits that submission. So we're saying whenever the record is created in the updates table. Now this is the one that is the update one, not the uh, original contact record. And we know all this field information is information that we're going to be using. So when we come down here, we want to search a record. So the update record has been created. We now want to search records. And in the customer table, this is the original table, and this is the information we're going to be updating. And the query is where the record ID equals the customer's related customer. We know because we sent over the related customer's identity in the button. That button already knows who that related customer is. We're now taking it, and, and if it matches the record of in our search, which is the record ID, then what do we do? For each record we find, we're going to come down here and we are going to, sorry for the blur here, update the record. And it's using the information from B. And you can see the information that started this all was when, when they, somebody filled out that update record. And we're pulling that data from there, address city into A. And A is the first step here. And so we're filling out all that information um, here. So only two pipelines uh, to make this happen. The first one, which resets and sets the um, triggering event, uh, the email goes out. And once they press the button, the second pipeline fires. Um, the record is changed. It searches to find the original record and then updates it with the, uh, the information that's been updated. We cover things like this in our daily webinars, office hours held Monday through Friday from uh, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. East Coast time. And look forward to uh, seeing you. Thanks.